Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Mumu Outdoors. Today I'm here at the Headwaters Kayak Shop in Lodi uh, to pick up a new fishing PFD. Hey Dan! Hey, what's up Mumu? How's it going? <laughs> Good, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for coming by. You gonna check out some life jackets today? Yes! Hey guys, I'm here at Headwaters Kayak Shop in Lodi and uh, here's Dan. He's gonna help me uh, pick up right PFD for me um, before we get into that. So a lot of people ask me for recommendation on PFD mm -hmm. and uh, what I've been telling them is go to the local shop, make sure you try them on and get the one that you feel comfortable with. Right. Was that the right advice? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I think a video like this can be helpful too because a lot of people don't necessarily have a local shop with all these different options. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but what we like to do is have you try the jacket on, sit down in it, make sure it feels comfortable, make sure it's not riding up. Ideally, if we have your boat here, we'll actually put it on the ground and set oh. you in it and let you try it that way. But uh, hopefully this will give you guys some insight. The first thing I like to do is ask, okay, like, what are you going to be doing with this uh, in your kayak? What sort of waters are you going to be in? What sort of paddling are you going to do? How do you, you know, stow your gear? And then I sort of narrow it down and have you try on a few different ones that will work for your needs. Okay. So what do you think? What are we, uh, what are you going to be doing with it? Um, you know me, multi-species, you know, mm -hmm. from river to ri um, lakes to ocean. So. Okay. So something that you can maybe carry a VHF radio. Yes. Do you have like, uh, do you like to carry your phone on your life jacket? Yes. Okay, what about tools and tackle? What do you I don't usually you? carry too much uh, tools or tackle on my lap, lap jacket. Okay, so so basically just some electronics. Yeah. You can probably get away with a fairly simple setup. Yeah. Okay, well let's um let's look it through some price points. I'll let you try some on and see what works best for you. Okay. All right, let's do it. Um, where do we want to start? So we carry basically three major brands. We carry Kokatat, Stolquist, and NRS, and each most one. Po most popular ones. Uh, definitely the NRS and the Stolquist. Uh, the Kokatat's a little bit higher end, but it's also probably the most comfortable. A lot of people buy that too. So you get to play Goldilocks. But let's start with the NRS Chinook Offshore, which is a brand new life jacket for this year. It comes in a couple colors, like this high vis orange, as well as the new black and red combo. Um, I'm saying the offshore for you because it's got the VHF radio pocket, a nice spot for your cell phone. I know you don't use a, uh, a lot of tools, but it does have a spot for a little river knife, like a little blunt tip river knife. Mm -hmm. Oops. Most of the life jackets we sell will have a spot for one of these guys. And then in the back, it actually has a couple of tabs if you wanted to put like a strobe on there for launching before Pretty dawn. Cool. So let's have you try this one on and see. I think you're probably, what, a small, medium? Let's try that. NRS tends to run a little bit big, so even their small, medium is kind of like a medium large, if you ask me. So let's try that on and see. The other thing is, how about color preference? Do you want to be bright out there? Bright you, out there. You, you want, want to, you want to go for yeah. something visible. Yeah. Okay. I do, it's always. Let's have you try that one on. What I like to do first is loosen up the straps so it's just way too loose and then you can go ahead and zip it up. And then some life jackets will either have a chest strap or they'll have a buckle underneath. The idea with the buckle that runs underneath, you can see that like right here. The idea with that is it keeps it cinched around your rib cage so it doesn't want to ride up. Okay. So it's the first thing we do is get that. If I can get it. Easy for me to Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get the, the back of the life jacket. Turn around for me. Get the back of the life jacket so it's sitting high up on the shoulder blades. And then we'll go from the bottom and work our way up with the cinch straps. And then turn around here. And we'll tighten the shoulder straps down. So what I like about the new NRS Chinook is that the chest area is pretty flat. Yeah. You notice that? It doesn't mm -hmm. have yeah. a whole lot of bulk. And then it's got a couple of cuts in the foam right here and right here. You know, it helps it sort of wrap around your torso, so it's not like you're trying to fit flat panels and squish them against your chest. So, I, I definitely this one feels much more comfortable than the uh, the previous model. Yeah, the I minutes. agree. I think that they cut out a lot of the bulk and redistributed the foam so it just sits flatter against your body. Okay. So let's just talk a little bit about features. This vest has a lot. One of the things, you're a multi-species guy, so you may use this. You can put the butt of your rod here and the tip of your rod here. So for retying and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. It's got that little loop there. Yeah. Because a lot of guys are using these for bank fishing or maybe they're floating a the river and taking out of different spots. So having a way to, instead of like holding your rod and mm -hmm. doing anything, you can put it up against you. Yeah. Um, it's got a couple of lash tabs. Again, you can put your knife here. 
You have another one here if you wanted to run a knife there. A deep, narrow pocket, which fits a VHF radio perfectly. Uh, that's one of the things about the old Chinook, is it was kind of awkward to put a VHF radio, especially if you had it in a dry bag. So this gives you a little nicer space there. These pockets right here fold flat. You have another zipper pocket to keep your stuff inside if you want to keep your keys. It has a little spot to oh, lash them off. Key use in my fishing license goes can go right there. Yeah, zip it up, you don't yeah. have to worry about it. A couple of little pockets inside too. Pro cure or maybe, I don't know, what else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Uh, but I usually keep that one for my cell phone. And I like the fact that it it doesn't go all the way out. It stays nice and flat. Yeah. So if you needed to tie something up and you were worried about dropping it, have that nice flat panel. Uh, same thing over here, just a little smaller pocket. The standard Chinook would have two big pockets. The offshore is going to have the littler fold-down pocket on that side in the VHF. We'll also notice on the offshore it gets reflected piping. So up here on the shoulders as well as on the back, it has a, a couple of pieces of reflective piping. And again, that little tab where you can clip on a strobe light if you wanted to. Very Other cool. little subtle details that yeah. the average person wouldn't know is a couple of little retractors. So if you wanted to put line retractors on here or have little tools, you can have them leashed up oh, on those yeah. little tabs. Okay, very cool. How's it feel? Yeah. Feels pretty good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, comfortable. All right, and you like the orange? Yeah, orange is pretty. Why don't you sit down over here on the cooler and just sort of uh, see see how it feels when you're in the seated position? Make sure it doesn't ride up. We need like your a fake pedal system up here for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you don't want when you're pedaling. You don't want that thing squishing up onto your chest. Actually, my current PFD does that a little bit when I'm pedaling. Yeah. Yeah, I start keeping holding it down. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think I noticed that in the video. That's what started all this. Is I was like, Moo, I need to, need to come try on some life jackets. <laughs> so with that in mind, let's jump over to a Kokatat PFD. Okay. Um, different mindset than the NRS. It's a little bit shorter torso. The foam's a little bit shorter and wider. So somebody with a shorter torso is going to um, feel like it rides up a little bit less. Mm. But let's just try it out and see how you like it. I got short legs, so pretty long torso. <laughs> short legs, long torso? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so next up we have the Kokatat Leviathan. This is probably one of the more expensive PFDs. You're looking at around $150 versus uh, the offshore is like $129. Um, it's about but, $20, $30 difference. Yeah, but what I like about this one is you'll notice on the inside, it's got like a thin neoprene lining. The foam that they use is incredibly flexible. Wow. It really molds to your body. And then all the foam on the shoulders and on the back is all perforated. So you know, perforated foam, and then the air just flows right oh. through. So it's a very cool PFD. Uh, go ahead and have you try this one on. I know you're looking for bright. This one does come in a couple colors. You got the orange there. I mean, the, the green here, as well as the bright orange. So if you'd rather have that, we can we can go that color way. There you go. Did you get the clip. So get this high on the back. Make sure it's down low as it can be on the front. Cinch it up from the bottom up. Get it turned for me. All right, how's that one fit? Feels good. So you can see it's a little bit more compact this way. It's not quite as long. Uh, still fairly flat across your chest. It does tend to ride up a little bit higher, but for some people that's really good because as you're pedaling, you don't want that life jacket pushing up. Mm -hmm. So that could uh, help out with that. Let's just talk about some of the features on this one too. You've got a lot of options here. You've got a lash tab in the front, so again, if you wanted to add a knife there, you could. You've got a spot for pliers or hemostats to run right through here. Again, a little tab for leashing stuff off. And this one's heavy on pockets and features. So if you're starting at the front, you've got these little foam deals where you can add uh, you know, flies or oh, hooks yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you're switching stuff out, you can just put it right on your PFD there. And pockets galore. It's got a small pocket, a bigger pocket for a phone, Again, with a little D-ring to lash stuff off to. And then a nice, deep, deep, big pocket right here. A lot of pockets. Yep. Yeah, three on each side, plus another one up here, which is another little spot to lash stuff off. That's your chapstick, <laughs> whatever. I can't think of enough stuff to carry to fit in all these pockets, but I know some of you guys out there will have your pockets just stuffed full of gear. I see it all the time. You know, just different style. The one thing about this vest for offshore, so there's not a perfect situation for a VHF radio. I mean, I've had guys stick them in the big pocket here. 
but uh, if a VHF is important to you, you may want to bring it into the store and make sure it fits before you uh, before you commit. All right, Goldilocks, what do you think? How does that one compare to the first one? You know what? Uh, Comfort-wise, I think it's pretty similar. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you sit down and see uh, see if it rides up at all on you? Yeah, it seems like you have a little bit more room between your legs and mm -hmm. your vest. Yeah. Right? And so all the vests we're talking about are fishing vests today. I mean, they do make the same vest and like a recreational vest that's quite a bit cheaper. Um, well, like this one behind you, this would be like a women's style. Uh, so depending on what you're looking for in a vest, just know that there are lesser expensive, more simplified options. But because Moo's a, a kayak fisherman, I'm just going straight to that. Yeah, the, the vest I have is not, you know, a fishing vest. So. Yeah, right. It's probably just got two zippers. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty standard yeah. for recreational vests. I mean, I had it for four years, and I think it's time to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, let's see. Let's go to, you know what, let's do this one. It's another NRS vest. It's brand, brand new. It literally just came out. Uh, I think I'm the first one to play with it, and you'll be the second. I, I took it out the other day, and I was in a Hobie Outback and was really impressed. It's a thin back design, oh, so it doesn't have a high back. But it just has a very thin, low-profile back all the way down, which uh, both NRS and Stoquist have gone to on some of their life jackets. And I really like it because the Hobie chair, it doesn't have a ton of uh, padding along the rails. And uh, this offered a little bit more padding on my back. So I'm excited for you to check this one out. This is probably their highest-end fishing vest at the moment. And you'll feel, feel this right here. It's got like little balls mm -hmm. in there to massage your back. <laughs> Some people like that little lower back support. And then again, mesh spots for breathability because it is a full back, it's not gonna breathe quite as well. And really similar pockets. There you go. So it's basically based off the Chinook platform, but distributing the foam in the back a little differently. Because nowadays, some of the seats are so high that even when you're sitting in it, um, even with the high back, you know, mm -hmm. like, like this stuff, some of the seats are so high that it's still wanting to push up on this. So again, I, I love when people can come in and sit in the boat that they're buying and play Goldilocks. All right, turn around. So similar to the first vest, you've got all the same features on the front, except for this does not have a specific VHF pocket. So if you were going to run your VHF, you would have to slide down the side here, you'd zip it up, and your antenna would just sort of hang out the top. Okay. But other than that, all the same features as the Chinook Offshore. You know I say that, but then I notice it's got this, the plier spot right in here. So you can undo this, you can put your pliers in and then secure them like that. How does that one feel compared to the, uh, the offshore one? You definitely feel the foam in your lower back on this one. Which is going to be a little hotter, so it does get hot in the valley. Well, the comfort wise is pretty much the same. For the pretty same. much the same. Yeah. It does seem, and maybe I'm wrong, but maybe it seems like a little bit more foam up here in the chest department as opposed to the Chinook Offshore, which seemed to be a touch thinner up there, you know? Oh, you're right. This is yeah. much thinner. It, it looks a little thicker. Yeah. So, another subtle difference. So since we're on NRS, I don't think this is the one for you because it's basically the same as the Offshore, and I know you always run your VHF radio, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So basically it's the exact same life jacket as the Offshore. Same foam, the only difference between these two is that little VHF radio pocket right right in the right front there. Yeah, other than that, identical. Okay. Both, both very popular. We saw a ton of these guys. All right, let's uh, let's jump to some Stolquist live jackets. Uh, Stolquist has been one of my favorites for years. They're one of the last ones that do like the heavy duty cordura nylon, so it's a little bit stouter material that it's made out of. It's got hard pockets, and then they use that same flexible foam like you find on the Coca Tap. They call it Gaia foam. And the idea with the foam is as you use it and as it wears in, it actually kind of takes a mold of your body as you sweat in it. Uh, so it only gets more and more comfortable with time. And this is the, the choice life jacket for a lot of the guys that uh, here in the shop that fish. Sort of the least impressive with features, but the most comfortable over time. And Stokewitz uses a different cinching mechanism, which I really like too. It's called the Rapture. So instead of having the buck, buckle underneath, it's got some chest cinches that kind of grab your rib cage. Which okay, so no buckle underneath like nope. the other ones. All right, get a high on the back. Start here at the bottom. Okay, turn around for me. Get it. Yes. 
your shoulders, okay? And then these ones right here are the ones. So basically this little strap runs around and connects all the way to your lower back. So when you tighten these down, think about it kind of hugging your rib cage. And that makes the light check so it doesn't want to pull up. Oh, yeah. And when you're in the water, it stays down. So one of the reasons why a lot of guys really like that still quiz is it never wants to creep up on you. And if you're in the water, you can always lay back and cinch those straps and get it more secure while you're while you're swimming. How many times have you flipped over in your kayak? In the water? Yeah. Zero times. Oh, once really? surf launching, once surf landing, once. Oh, okay, yeah. that's impressive. <laughs> I would say we're always in between swims. Like it's when you least I mean, I don't it. do the hardcore stuff that you do. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but still, you know, you're out there in the ocean. Some people would consider that hardcore, fishing off the north coast. How's that one fit you? Oh, this one feels actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. Your buddy Steve, that's what he uses now. I know. Yeah, he came in and tried a bunch on and ended up with that. Pretty much that exact life jacket, I think. Same color and everything. So a little bit more simplified on the pockets. Again, you have the two big ones that open up with the little flaps. Uh, it's deep enough and big enough where you can do the VHF radio. And the way the zippers work, you just run them so okay. the VHF sticks off the top. I will say this, if you get that VHF snagged on something, like the antenna, it's going to want to like open up the pocket. So you want to make sure you have it clipped off or leashed off on the inside okay. here. Um, this is a spot for pliers. This is just a little D-ring. And you've got a couple of other spots to, uh, to add stuff in or leash stuff off on the life jacket as well. I like the simplicity. On this yeah. One. yeah, kind of similar to what you're used to, but just yeah. like sort of the next yeah, step since up. I don't really carry them much stuff on mm -hmm. my life vest, other than my phone, my keys, and radio, mm -hmm. and a knife, but yeah. The other thing that's important to talk about with Stolquist is they do gradient sizing. So that means a, a small life jacket is actually going to be smaller and more compressed. A larger life jacket is going to be larger and more spread out. So each life jacket, small, medium, and large, actually changes um, the changes shape where pretty much everyone else has the same foam, it's just a matter of how long the straps are. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, so that's one of the really cool things about Stokus is that gradient sizing. And you're in a, medi or a, a large, extra large. Compared to NRS, NRS was fairly large. Stokus is pretty right on. That's, this is the that's a large, extra large. Large, extra large. So it goes small, medium, large, extra large, and then double, extra large. Okay. You want to sit on that one and see how it feels? Yeah. That kind of looks like your old life jacket. Dad, get out of here. <laughs> you got black pants on, so he's going to want to get his fur all over you. All right, well, I got one more Stolquist then to try on. This is another thin back design. Okay, so yeah. the last Stolquist is the Stolquist Keeper. I should be talking about the name. That was a Stolquist Fisherman. Fisherman. The orange wow. one you like. It's very fitting. Fisherman. And uh, this is the Stolquist Keeper. This is their most expensive life jacket. It's in the $150 range. Again, thin back design, similar to the NRS Raku. Uh, very breathable, and you can see that foam just contours and folds. That's a real big difference from your basic life jacket to your higher end life jackets, is the kind of foam that they're using. It breaks down a lot less quickly. It's a lot more comfortable. You didn't fish Lake Shasta, huh? No, I did not. I had, um, I had a family obligation that weekend yeah. on the Saturday, so. Well, as you know, it was snowing, right? Yeah. I. I wish I was there. I love the snow. Well, check this out. Stick your hand right in the foam pocket. When it's cold. What? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So when you're pedaling spot to spot uh -huh. and it's so freezing, uh -huh. you have a spot sort of uh -huh. like an uh, NFL quarterback to like warm up your hands. That's all awesome. right, let's uh, let's get it all cinched up to you. This one has a lot of really subtle features too. Like in the back here, turn around. It's got a spot to grab onto. So if you're fishing somebody out of the water or somebody's fishing you out of the water, you can pick them up and throw them in the boat. All right, let's turn around. Get your shoulder straps. Because it's a thin back design, it has a little bit more foam up front, but again, the rapture technology, you can kind of get it down. And if we're talking about pockets and bells and whistles, this one's got a lot similar to the Kokutat. Little pockets right here where you can shove your chapstick or whatever. Leash tabs. Uh, you can also fit a... Um, an NRS river knife right in there. A little tight, but it works. Big pockets. Again, you can fit your VHF radio and just zip the antenna up right here. Um, a spot for your cell phone. So, pretty similar. You know, spot for all your goodies, leashes inside. Okay. And then a lot of these just like neoprene tap where you can just throw stuff in as you need it. Just so many pockets. 
<laughs> it's overwhelming. Huh? I'm not used to that. I notice it is a little bit thicker up here. It is more yeah. bulky, yep. And that's one of the things. It's all about how the foam distri is distributed and how it hits your body. That can make or break a life jacket. I mean, I've been in love with some life jackets, but then they just sort of sit out here in front, and I, I don't want, I don't care for that. So, let me sit down. Yep. <laughs> yeah, very comfortable, just like the other uh, Stokewest uh, fishermen. Yeah, that guy of mm -hmm. foam that they use is really, mm -hmm. really just contours. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it only gets more comfortable over time the more you wear it and the more it sort of breaks into your shape. Well, I've shown you a bunch. All right. I think uh, I'm going to have to go with the uh, Stokewest Fisherman. That was the one, yeah. huh? Yeah. I like the simplicity and I like how comfortable it feels. Um, don't get me wrong. Everything feels comfortable. This is like, but, but Stok both of the Stokewest feels more comfortable than at least yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. And again, every body type's different. I did yeah. the same sort of video with Out West with Chris, and he fell in love with the Coca Tat one. You know, so every person's different, and if you have that opportunity to try them on, definitely do so. Um, it's hard oh, to yeah. use. Yeah, yeah, that's your jacket. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it looks good on you. You gonna take the orange? I'm assuming. Yes. Nice one, right? Yeah. Is it orange or red? Kind of reddish orange. I think it's orange. I think this is red. Oh what yeah. Are, what do you guys yeah, think? Yeah. You can leave it in the comments. <laughs> it's bright, whatever it is. Yep. It's the brightest one. Okay. Alright, Lou. Sounds like we had a deal. Yeah. I'll pick this one up. Alright, sounds great. I always tell people too, you know, we talk about um, uh, colors on the water. People are like, I want to be seen, I want a bright neon yellow boat or something. I was uh, fishing offshore in Kauai the other day, and there was a bunch of us in ocean kayaks. And you know what? The only thing you could see, this guy was in a, one guy was in a bright yellow boat, the other guy had a black and yellow boat, the other guy was in a bright red boat. The only thing you see is what color is their hat? What color is their life jacket? Because any sort of right. chop or swell in the water, the kayak yeah. disappears. Yeah. So having a bright colored life jacket or one of the guys had a neon pink hat on, I could mm -hmm. spot that guy for miles. Uh, so just be aware, if you're concerned about visibility, your life jacket's actually more important than your, than your kayak. Yeah, you're totally right. Because uh, so there's so many times you're like, I'm on the water looking for my buddy because of that six foot swell, yeah, yeah. I can't find him. And he's only like 50 yards away, but I still can't find him. Right. Every time I look, swells up, so I don't see him. Everyone yeah. tends to wear like black or gray or, yeah. you know, what, neoprene. But, you know, and a lot of these life jackets you'll see are kind of muted, duller colors. A lot of the kayak fishermen are going towards more like camo and things like that. If you're around other boats, you guys get a bright colored PFD. It makes a huge difference. Cool, man. Thanks for coming right. in and doing this today. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, I'll be uh, I'll follow the comment threads on this video, or you can just shoot me an email or a message, and I'll get to those as well. All right. Awesome, man.